Hollywood's Actors Union reached a tentative agreement with studios on Wednesday to end their strike, triggering nearly months of labor unrest that has historically paralyzed the entertainment industry. The three-year contract agreement will have to be approved in the next few days by a vote of the union's board of directors and its members. But management said the strike will end at 12.01 a.m. on Thursday. Lasting nearly four months, it was by far the longest strike in the history of film and television actors. More than 60,000 members of the Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and radio performers went on strike on July 14th, joining screenwriters who had walked off the job more than two months earlier. It was the first time the two unions had struck together since 1960. The studios decided to negotiate with the writers first, reaching an agreement that their leaders called a major victory and ending the strike on September 26th. The terms of the agreement were not immediately published. sag said details will be made public after a meeting Friday in which board members review the contract. Issues on the table included short-term compensation and future royalty payments for film and television shows, along with control over images and likenesses of AI-regenerated actors. Executives from major entertainment companies, including Disney, Netflix, Warner Bros. Discovery and Universal were directly involved in the negotiations, which, like all Hollywood union negotiations, were led by the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. The end of the strike announcement came just hours after Disney CEO Robert Iger and Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Zaslav reported their latest earnings calls. Both executives said they hoped the strike would be resolved soon. Disney shares rose on its report, which said net income rose 63% to $264 million in the quarter, and it's September 30th, compared to $162 million the previous year. Zaslav said on an earnings call that the studio's latest offer achieved virtually all of the union's goals and includes the largest salary increase in 40 years. Warner Brothers Discovery reported losses on Wednesday and its shares fell 19%. While the writer's strike had immediate and visible effects for viewers, including the suspension of late-night talk shows and Saturday Night Live for months, the impact of the actor's absence was not immediately apparent, but its ripple effects, delayed release dates and waits for new seasons of shows, could be felt for months or even years. Actors are expected to quickly return to movie sets where productions have been suspended, including Deadpool 3, Gladiator 2, and Wicked. Other films and shows will be rebooted once returning writers finish scripts. And beyond scripted productions, the end of the strike allows actors to return to red carpets, talk shows, and podcasts as Hollywood's awards season approaches. The SAG strike is over. I can finally say it. Watch my documentary Saturday night at 8 p.m. on HBO Max. Actor and director Albert Brooks said on social media soon after the strike ended. I couldn't say a word until now. The only major award show directly affected by the strike was the Emmys, which were moved from September to January. Now the usual autumn campaigns for the Oscars will be mobilized but any sense of normality in the industry could prove temporary. The circumstances that led to the strikes, the shift from traditional theater and broadcast media to streaming and emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, have not abated. And the benefits gained from the strikes could encourage other Hollywood unions, or the unions themselves, in negotiations that will resume in a few years. Union leaders saw the strike as a watershed moment from the start, as it came amid broader labor struggles in other sectors. I think now we're talking about the culture of big business and how it treats everyone, at the top and at the bottom, in the name of profit, said sag president and star of The Nanny, Fran Drescher, told the Associated Press in an August interview. Duncan Crabtree, Ireland, the CEO and chief negotiator who led the team that struck the deal for the union, told the AP in August that he was 
honored to be able to give our members a fair contract that protects us and make sure the 14-year-olds I talk to on the Disney picket line still have the ability to be actors when they turn 18. The deal also means a return to film sets for thousands of film crew members left with nothing to work with during the strikes. SAG-AFTRA has sought to offset its difficulties by allowing provisional, sometimes controversial, agreements to continue for some smaller productions and by making its strike fund available to all workers in the industry. For more news like this across the globe, please subscribe to our channel, like and share this video. Thank you.